screen by Gasol. Lakers have been much better with that. Those high screens inside the double team by them. All kinds of traffic inside is picked up by Kevin Durant. See how low a position, though, that Bynum is getting, and everything is from the outside. And this is the one thing I said was the problem. They're with a jump shooting team. team. They're yep. a jump shooting team, and when you need a basket, they don't have no one on the inside. Just to see how low Bynum is getting the basketball? They're getting easy looks where everything is a struggle for OKC. It's Bynum trying to close his lane to Perkins and finds two inside. Bynum has put in 20. He's grabbed eight rebounds. He's been a force tonight. The bigs have come to play for the Lakers. 2.08 to play. LA's got their biggest lead. Bynum has been a big part of Los Angeles in game two on TNT. So, playing in the postseason for the fifth year together. Kobe and Andrew Bynum in their seventh year together as Lakers. And even Meta World Peace picking up an NBA ring in his first season for the Lakers, now in his third. The coaching staff can come up with a game plan, but the players have to implement it and make adjustments on the court. So far, the Lakers all on the same page tonight. Yep. You're right, Craig. Good report. Tons of communication. It starts with the head coach, Mike Brown. Wonderful game plan by Mike Brown. He came in here and wanted to start with the inside out, and he's really pounded the ball down low, but defensively, He's had his Laker team two steps ahead of the Thunder. Here comes the crossover move by Harden. Takes it right to the rack. Oklahoma City in the second half is under 30% shooting. They've had no offensive rebounds in the second half of this game. It's Kobe Bryant. Oh, and the steal picked off by Durant. Turnover. And Kobe Bryant forgot that he was 6'10. And the officials can go look at the monitor because Russell Westbrook is claiming that was off Kobe Bryant. The game was tied at 63 with 824 left. The Lakers since 12 to 7. That's exactly what Ryan McCutcheon and Rodney Mott. Jason Phillips are going to do go to the monitor to see who that was off of. And again, we have the luxury of looking at it in super slow motion on the fly. Rodney Mott called this off of OKC, and from that angle, it looks like it does go through Kobe Bryant's hands. Time. Oh, that's Thunder basketball. I mean, the last person to touch it is Kobe Bryant. And if that is the case, if you're Scott Brooks, where do you go for offense? You just ran a quick pick and roll for James Harden to get into the paint. Yep, off, off his left yes. thumb. Nice shot by our crew. And at the end of the day, you just want the officials to get it right. I love that they have the capabilities of going over there to the monitor and making sure they get it right. We got people that are just joining us right now, Reds. What has happened in this game with the Lakers getting crushed by 29 in game one? And here they are leading by three. And here are some of the things when you take a look at the instant replay. They turn it over. They get the ball back to the Thunder. And Possession of the ball is reviewable. So what would you tell someone who's just jumping into our broadcast right now? It's been the Lakers' identity in the middle of getting the ball to Powell, Gasol, and Andrew Bynum. The brilliant shot making down the stretch in this fourth period by Kobe Bryant and the defensive identity of Meta World Peace slowing down Kevin Durant, Kevin Durant only 19 points, but only 13 field goal attempts. Lakers have had two turnovers in the last eight seconds. I'm Scott Brooks. I'm looking at James Harden here. Even though you have Kobe Bryant guarding him, he's able to seem to get into the paint as well. But remember in game one, it was so easy for Russell Westbrook to post up Steve Blake. They have not gone to that at all here in game two. Foul to get both ways. Harden hard to the rack and picked up by Ibaka. The defense of Blake, it's picked up by Westbrook. That's a two 
It's picked up inside and hailed by Bynum. Bynum collects his ninth rebound. Fourth three-point shot there by Kevin Durant on that second set opportunity. Here's Kobe against Harden. Shot clock at four. That was the front of great defense by Harden who comes racing the other way. Into Blake, into the hole! That's been three straight possessions for James Harden, who's just put his head down and gone right into the lane. Scoring on two of them. With a one point lead, here comes Meta World Peace. Bryant sits the shoot. Rebound chased and retrieved by Westbrook. It's Durant, switch on defense for the lead. Get back into this ball game of turnovers for the Lakers. Kevin Durant with the steal and then just the miscommunication ball off the hands of Kobe Bryant. A fourth shot here by Bryant. Well, the Lakers had a big lead of 7, 75, 68 with two minutes left and Oklahoma City has gone on an eight nothing run. Notice the fouls to give. Lakers in this fourth quarter, Reggie, have turned it over five times. We just saw a couple right there. And their shooting has gone south. Now Los Angeles in the fourth, five of 19. What a big shot by Durant. This was almost a switch by Bynum. And there's no way Bynum was going to be able to stay with Kevin Durant on that switch on that high pick and roll. Well, we know this is Kobe Bryant time. Plenty of time on the clock right here. Timeout. Not able to get the ball in. How about the defense there of Pablo Cephalosha, who's been on the bench for a while now. He, he just came in. Cephalosha just came in the contest. And so the Lakers will get another chance to win down 18.6 seconds to play in regulation. Well, Mike Brown has done a good job of obviously forcing the ball down to Powell and Andrew all game. But now we know whose time it is right now with 18.6 seconds left on the time. Kobe Bryant has plenty of time and plenty of options because this Laker team has been here before against this Thunder team in game six when it was a one possession game and Kobe took the last shot and who tipped it in because of their offensive rebound, Pal Gasol. So if you're Scott Brooks, you gotta be careful that you be sure you block out. Now it looks like Cephalosha, who plays fantastic man-on-man -man defense is gonna be all over Kobe Bryant. We're going to foul to give each one 18.6. Meta World Peace to inbound. It's Gasol and Kobe. Against Cephalosha. We're down to seven. A whistle, a shove, and a foul with a foul to give. And Cephalosha took it right there in the clock. 5.7. That's an excellent foul there by Cephalosha. 30 feet away from the basket with Kobe Bryant going to his right to take that foul. Cephalosha's got four, 5.7 to play. 
the Thunder on top by one, and the ball will be in the hands of the Los Angeles Lakers. What more could you want? Win or go home, TNT's exclusive coverage of the conference semifinals continues on Saturday. We'll be in Los Angeles, game four. The Thunder and the Lakers, and coverage begins at 10 o'clock Eastern time right here on TNT. Yeah, how important is this going to be for Mike Brown, whatever he's drawing up, to be able to get the ball in. The Lakers have no timeouts left. And the last two possessions, while they've been trying to take it out, have really struggled to get the ball in. And if you're Scott Brooks and the Thunder, you can't afford to give up a second shot opportunity or a lob out of bounds to one of the bigs of Bynum and Pau Gasol. And again, Metta World Peace will inbound, and Durant will be right in his way. Blake, a three, no, recovered by Sephalosha. One second to play, one second to play. The Lakers had a foul to give. Let's watch it again as Blake misses the triple. Well, really, Russell Westbrook fell asleep on Steve Blake. Thought that he was going back door and away and underneath the rim. The Thunder are very fortunate because this was a wide open shot by Blake. I don't know if that makes Kobe Bryant. Uh, that's just an uncontested shot there. And very fortunate, the rebound by Cephalosha and the foul that looked like on Pau Gasol. Blake had a chance. You know, he was so big in game seven against the Denver Nuggets. Hitting big threes in that contest, one in fact late. Tonight though, shooting the three ball, one of five. Yeah, Kobe Bryant is livid because he was looking at Meta World Peace saying, what are you doing? But I, I don't blame Meta because Blake was so wide open. And it was, everyone in this building knew that the ball was trying to go to number 24, Kobe Bryant. And Blake makes that shot, no one says anything, but I'm sure everyone's gonna have an opinion afterwards. Do you go to the first available guy, which was Blake, wide open, or do you wait and try to see if Kobe Bryant Finds a way to get open. Harden is in for Perkins. Here comes Barnes in for the Lakers, taking the place of Gasol. Jared Fisher is checking in for the Thunder. One second left. Down by seven moments ago. The Thunder by one into Durant. That's the buzzer. That's the game. And the Thunder on top. Two games to none. Unless they stop play, let's see. Well, he was trying to hit the rim so the clock would go out, but he, he didn't hit the rim. I mean, why don't you just shoot it up and miss it? Now the ball's out of, out of bounds, and now you can actually lose the game right here. Real peace will inbound. Let's hope this doesn't come back to haunt Kevin Durant here. Perkins checking in for Fisher. So many things can happen. I a know, foul, exactly. a, a foul could occur. That's what I'm saying. That's a magic number. Here we go. Inside intercepted by Harden. Now it's in the books. And the Thunder have brought up two games tonight on the Los Angeles Lakers. Oklahoma City closes the game on a 9-0 run.